All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechach, Kodash, that wants to the elders and the apostles of the great middle stone, so I taste all that I can put his word with true charity with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly Father, whom the word in calls God, Jehovah, Ba'ashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, who the word in calls Jesus, and Rechach, Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird out there, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of that nation to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your Israelites, no matter what your parents may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago. I'm the brother Tazawar. And I'm the brother Yadaya, and we're back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh... It's going to be, um, titled, basically, be, uh, We Are Soldiers, man. No, we are soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. At the end of the day, we, we don't have, quote-unquote, uh, lives inside this society, man. We ain't out here looking to please, man. We're not out here looking... To uh, um be um fitted in this society, so to speak. No, we all had hey, coming in this, uh like our uh Lord and Savior, how was shy my shock, he said what? He was about his father's business, man. We're about our father's business, man. And what is that? And the Lord is a man of war. We're in a spiritual warfare, man. The scriptures talk about this great war of ignorance, man. Mm -hmm. And our people are out here uh bland, man. And we all had to so wake up the elect, man. Point blank period, man. That's that's our lifestyle. Hey, chiefly getting our salvation, man. We all have fighting for our uh, salvation, working on our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know? But, hey, we just... Uh, yep. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Mashiach. So, right, we got to uh, we gotta endure. Hey, it talks about uh, in Hebrews 10th chapter, Paul speaks about how we have to, we endure a great uh, fight of affliction, roughly paraphrased. So, we got to endure uh, whatever the hell... We got to go through, man. Whatever the hell uh, is what the Lord has in your lot. You got to, uh, uh, as Daniel talks about, you got to, it says we all have to stand our lot in the uh, um, end of days, man. And when you go into that um, hardness in this uh, second Timothy, it's G2553. Uh, and it says to undergo hardship, be afflicted, endure affliction, suffer trouble. Say so, hey, we gotta undergo hard uh, hardships, man. Hey, we gotta uh, not saying we're gonna be perfect. Hey, it says a just man follow seven times, you know, and it says he um get up, you know. So yeah, we gotta we're gonna fall, we're gonna get up, man, through the spirit of the Lord. But we gotta uh, be the be them soldiers, man. And I'm gonna go into the etymology mm -hmm. of the word soldier right quick, man. It says century thirteen hundreds soldier from old friends uh sol sol soldier. Solider, one who serves in the army for pay. All right, we're gonna hey, we're gonna reward, man. We serving uh the uh hey, it says the Lord is the Lord of hosts, man. You know, in a, in a certain the extent, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord, hey, the Lord is a man of war, man. Hey, in a certain extent, hey, we we come in and being a Lord, the Lord's army, man. We fighting, we fighting this battle, hey, hey. Through the spirit and power, y'all about shimmy on shy, man. Hey, in the book of Psalms, it says, Who will stand up for me when mm. the evil doers, man? Who hey, who gonna stand up and live for the Lord, man? All right. And, and stand for righteousness in an evil world, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, in Isaiah 6, chapter, they said, he, uh, the Lord said, Who who I sent? And Isaiah said, Send me. We gotta come in that spirit. Hey, be ready to stand up for the Lord. It says, uh, can, uh, um, basically profess our uh, Savior openly. openly. Yep. It talks about. Uh, them who stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, and this talks about in the same uh chapter. Yep, standing great boldness in the face of such afflictions as wisdom, mm -hmm. Psalm five. Yep, and it says reading on. It says um, just uh, skimming through. It talks about um not a not a thin to solid. It says stick or solid metal, not a thin plate. Solid, yeah, it comes from solid, man. You got to be solid. We got to be able to endure this stuff, man. We got to be able to take it, man. We got to be able to be the real hey, real men of the Lord, man. Hey, we ain't out here emotional. We ain't out here effeminate, man. We are uh, um, going through what we have to go through for the most high. It talks about if you lose your life for your house shy's sake, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But we're going back to the second. Timothy. It says, verse 4. It says, no man that wharf entangling himself with the affairs of this life. So, no, we're not out here uh, chasing a bag. Not saying we don't have our own works, our own hustles, our own or whatever, man. 
But we not that ain't our mindset. Our mindset isn't of this word, man. Y'all was trying to send John the 18th chapter. If my king was of this word, my servants would fight. Obviously, hey, this isn't our uh, time, man. This isn't our rulership. This Esau Eden rulership, man. This is our trying period, man. Mm -hmm. This is the, the, uh, this is what we have to go through to be crowned, man. This is the war we have to fight as soldiers to hey, get get the victory. We just already written. Hey, uh, our captain Yahushua already got the victory, man. Mm -hmm. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So we trying to please. Hey, hey, uh, who got chosen us to be a soldier, man? Yep. Hey, how about Shem Al Shai? Hey, we got something to prove, man. Right. Not to you people in the world, but to you. How about Shem? Yeah, how about Shem Al Shai, man? Mm -hmm. He called us to do a job, man. You know, and we gotta fulfill that duty, you know. And hey, it's an everyday thing. Can I precept you really quick? I got two for you. This is Isaiah chapter twenty six, and verse uh, seven. It says, "The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Mm -hmm. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee? The desire of our soul is to thy name, man. Hey, that's the men of the Lord, man. You know, right. everything in our life revolves around Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, and His ministry pushing His word, man. We didn't giving up on everything that we thought that we was gonna do mm -hmm. to serve the Lord, man." To feed the Lord's sheep, you know, do these lessons, man. Right. Go out and prophesy, man. Make our bodies a living sacrifice. It says, the desire of our name, of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. You know, will my will my soul have I desired thee in the night? Yea, will my spirit within me will I seek thee early? We're going to do whatever we got to do to seek the Lord, man. You know, it, it talked about, and I believe in a book of John, maybe it spoke about the, the apostles, the, the, uh, it say they followed the lamb with it. No, nah, Revelation. It yep, said they yeah, followed the lamb whithersoever he went, man. Yep. You know? It says, Yea, will my spirit within me will I seek thee early? For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness, man. We fighting mm. for true world peace, man. We fighting for our nation to get back in order, for the Lord to come and establish his righteousness, man. You know? Right. We on a mission, man. Can I hit you one more? Come. This Romans 14 and verse uh, 10. Nah, uh... Ain't where is it at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Romans chapter 14 and verse 6. It says, He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth regardeth not the day to the Lord doth he not regard it. Mm -hmm. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth the most high thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord has it says to the Lord, he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. It says, For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether right. we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's, man. Mm. And that's simply what it is, man. We live to the Lord, man. We eat food. We pray in the name of Yahweh Hashem. I'm trying to keep blessed, man. You know, we taking place in some extra <laughs> activities, man. We praying to the Lord, man. This is an everyday thing, man. We are soldiers in the Lord's army, man. Right. Hey, hey, tying it back into that Timothy, man. We ain't going to let nothing stop us from uh, doing what we got to do, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, even the Esau's army. What does a soldier do, man? When a soldier is on standby, he just called. He drops everything, man. Mm -hmm. He don't care if he has his wife. He don't care if he has kids, children. He drops it all, man. He runs to what? Fight the battle, man. And he's not thinking about it neither when he nope. start fighting, you know? Yeah, he's not just like, damn, I got this, I got that. No. That's what we on. We like, yeah, how about Shem Al Shai, man? Hey, uh, I see you got one. I got one up to you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril sword, man? Mm -hmm. Hey, nothing's going to st stop us from doing this work. You know, Yahweh right out. we endure to the end, man. But, hey, we can't allow no hard time, no no, no stress, no trauma, whatever you're going through with your family or your wife. Persecution. They putting your name on the news, your family casting you out. Famine. Not having no food or nakedness, being bare ass, right. or peril or sword, destruction or death. None of that's gonna stop us, man. You know, when a man of war is at war, he just thinking about how he gonna win that war. Not right. thinking about how many people he gonna have to hurt or how many things that can happen to him or his loved ones. No, he's thinking about the goal. The the goal is to win. Yep. And what's our goal, man? Endure unto the end at all means, man. You know, hold your integrity and don't lose. Mm -hmm. Verse 36, as it is written, for thy sake are we killed all the late day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Verse 37, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, man. So, hey, we got the W. All we got to do is hey, hey, do what we need to do, man. Hey, hey, don't let nothing 
nothing uh, deters from my path. Verse mm -hmm. 38, for I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Can't no money, not no female, not no death, not no, uh, <laughs> not no, <laughs> no angels and anything, man. Nothing. nothing. Nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh, our Lord, man. So, hey, nothing should separate you from this, man. You know, if you got demons on your mind, hey, pray to the Lord. Bokesh, I get, get Satan away from me, you know. Okay. I got one right quick. It's Luke, chapter 9. And I get to the point. This is Luke, chapter 9, and verse 62. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So, hey, you you put your hands to the plow, you looking back, man. It says, remember uh, Lot's wife, man. Mm -hmm. Lot's wife looked back, man. She looked back in, uh, uh, so to speak, affection, man. Mm -hmm. And so to speak, uh, wanting th 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 this place, man. Wanting, you know, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, which, is, which was wicked, man. Yep. But, hey, we don't put our hands to the plow looking in the word, man. It says, uh, the Lord said, he'd rather you be evil word, you be cold. Or hot, man. You know, not lukewarm. <laughs> you got to be hot. You got to be a... Hey, fervent. Yeah, fervent. got to keep your eyes Zealous. Zealous. Yep. Zealous, Eager, man. you know. Yeah. I got something for you. There's Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple, man. Yes. Hey, man, you got to hey, you gotta prefer your how about Shem Yahushua over your children, your wife, your mother, your daughter, you know, whatever, man. It says, and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. If you ain't gonna if you ain't gonna pick up your cross, whatever the Lord may have in store for you, whether it's putting away that job, putting away that whatever you're doing, man, if you can't do that, you're not worthy to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, For which of you intending to build a tower, sit if not down first and count up the cost. Right. Think about a dude going away, like, you know, I'm just gonna sign up for a charger. Nigga, you know you can die doing this, man. Same thing with the Lord's army, man. You go ahead and you 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 start this, man, and you 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 I think it's a game stuff the Lord did. Hey, he had jacked you up, man. Yeah. It says, sit if not down first and count up the calls, whether, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Hey, hey so we don't want to be, we don't want to be made a damn pro a parable, man. You know, we not finna go ahead and start this war and be like, you know what? White flag. Right. No, man. We finna, hey, call all y'all about Shemel Shai. Help me get through it, you know? Mm -hmm. You know? It says, or oh, what king going to make war against another king sit of not down first and consultive whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come against him with 20,000? That's pretty much it. Come you know? on. Let's go one real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. And it reads, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our power is one Lord. So, right, and you go into that one, go into this word one, it's the Hebrew word achad, and it says, um, first. So, the Lord is first, firstly, man. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord, it says the Lord is hey, first, man. That's Chief. what it's chiefly, man. And hey, if the Lord is first, man, that mm -hmm. means nothing is above the Lord, man. The Lord is a priority, everything mm -hmm. else is options, man. Yep, uh, option can be, uh, um, Interchange or option can be canceled, but the priority of the Lord cannot. The Lord gave us straight commandments, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you a commandment is not a, a, a suggestion. It's not a um, opinion. It's 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 telling you what to do. I'm, he's the Lord commanded us to do these things, man. It's a service. A service, man. A reasonable service at that, man. Mm -hmm. I got some. This First Corinthians eleven and uh. Yeah, yeah, I started verse one. It says, Be followers of me, even as I also am of my shop. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances, man. It says, As I delivered them to you. And I believe a ordin you know, ordinance is like a. I mean, you can go in that word for me really quick. I don't know. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 11 and 2. God. It says, But I will have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of a Mashiach is the most high man. So hey, it's an order, man. And hey, our head is a hey, the, the one above us is Yahweh Shai, man. And what was Yahweh Shai doing, man? Hey, he was about his father's business, man. So same thing, man. Same same uh thing we need to be on, man. You know. Yep. And going to the ordinance is ordinances is G 
uh, 3860, man, G3860, and it says transmission, that is concretely a precept, specifically the, quote-unquote, Jewish traditionary law, ordinance, tradition. Yep, so, hey, hey it's a law, man, it, it's, a, it's, hey, it's a commandment, man, you know, so to say. Right. But, hey, hey, our head, shouldn't, shouldn't no woman be above, you know, the Lord, man, you know? Right. Shouldn't nothing be about it. Anything that you put above the Lord, hey, that's an idol, man. You mm -hmm. know? You'll be going off, you know? Yep. Yeah. You said the Lord is first, man. Hey, yep. You got some? Nah, we can just end on that. Man. Hey, but. Hey, <laughs> hey Lord willing, this is just an edifying quick lesson. Call a lie and lie. Yeah, how will Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakwadash, the one said the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation, I can push the word with true, serious, with charity, shalom, broke, thumb, and a bob, a bob. A bob, a bob.